Welcome back to another video in our new player series for Elite Dangerous. In this video, we are heading out to procure the Guardian Module Blueprint. Huh? What incarnation is a Guardian Module Blueprint? <laughs> a Guardian Module Blueprint is an encoded material used to unlock Guardian Modules via the Technology Broker. Once unlocked, you can purchase and craft these modules, assuming you have the required materials, from any Guardian tech broker. The Guardian modules include the Guardian FSD booster, shield reinforcement package, hybrid power plant and distributor, module reinforcement, and hole reinforcement. Can I blow stuff up? Do I get to tool around in the dune buggy thingamajiggy too? Oh yeah! You mean the SRV? Yeah, you can blow up all the pesky sentinels your little heart desires. Just be sure to scoop up all the parts they drop. You will need those later on. Oh, and be sure to scan a few of the obelisks for encoded data. I'll show you how to do that once we get to the surface. Sound good? Hurry up and land already. You should really take a look around. Familiarize yourself with the layout first. Things will look different on the ground. Besides, we need to find the flat spot as close as possible to the main terminal. That way, the point defenses we installed on the top of the ship can protect us from the Sentinel missiles. This spot should do just fine. Let's deploy your SRV and get to it. The hill in front of us will take us up to the main terminal. Be careful, the sentinels don't like it when we get too close. One pip to shields, one to engines, and the remainder in weapons should be just fine. We can go collect all the juicy bits they drop later. Target destroyed. This is one of the terminals we will need to charge. There's another one here to the right. Watch where you're going. Calm down. A little boost will get us upright again. You just man the turret. I will take care of the driving. That boxy structure with the glowing blue light? That is an obelisk data thingy. Just use your data link scanner on it. You did remember to set your fire groups for the SRV, right? So now just head directly across the main strip for the other terminal. As well as another obelisk, but watch out! A sentinel likes to hide around here. Now target that obelisk and scan the data. Be sure to pick up all of those sentinel parts if you aren't already full.
back to the main path and take a left. The next pylon will pop up as we pass it. Over here to the left is another obelisk as well as another pylon protected by another sentinel. a Thargoid out here? Nah, sorry. That was last night's burrito. <laughs> My eyes are burning. I can freaking taste it. You'll need an ancient relic to activate the main terminal. Might as well grab it now. <laughs> Make sure cargo scoop is deployed though. Here is a material tower with three destructible panels. You can shoot them and collect materials. This one in particular holds a technology fragment, one of the more rare finds. Make sure you grab that one. In order to help keep our bearings straight, let's go back to the end of the main path. We will cross over to the right at the end of the main path, where we'll find another assortment of goodies, as well as the final pylon. Oh, and another sentinel. Better take care of that first. Now scan the obelisk since it is right here anyways, and then note the location of the pylon. Destroy the three destructible panels on the tower. This one will always also drop a technology component. Collect your stuff and then find a hidden destructible panel on the structure. Target, shoot, and attempt to collect. This one is always a glitchy though, sometimes flying off at the speed of light, never to be found.
Now that you have raised all the pylons and collected your desired materials, it is time to head back to the main terminal to start the timed sequence to obtain the blueprint. You can drive around the perimeter to use a dirt hill I showed earlier, or do as I do, and just use the SRV booster to jump up the two steps to the terminal. Up to you. Now remember, first one is right in front of us, then two pillars to the left and right of the main strip at the end, two on either side just past our current location, and one in the middle of the main strip. Aim for the blue light on the pillars. As they activate, you will get an audible tone and a blue light beam up in the sky. The first one will start the timer. You can complete this in any order, but I tend to always do them in this order. Up to you. If you haven't picked up a Guardian Relic yet, then be sure to grab one in order to activate the main terminal. Most of the Sentinels should have already been destroyed, but a few more will appear as you activate the pylons. This time, we will take the Dirt Hill route up to the main terminal. On 
park your SRV in this location, centered, and to the front of the pad. Destroy any sentinels. Then go to your inventory tab of the SRV and jettison one relic. This will activate the glowing orb in front of you. Go into turret mode. Wait for the small dashed box to appear, which is what allows you to target it. Then scan with your data link scanner. You have now obtained one module blueprint. Good job. Remember that you are unable to use your turret and weapons within a certain distance from your ship. So in situations like this, you just need to drive the SRV further away from your ship in order to destroy the Sentinel. Target destroyed. Now in order to collect more blueprints, you will need to exit to main menu and re-log. There is a 15 second timer on the relog due to dangerous conditions. Just wait out the timer, and when you log back in, everything will be reset, allowing you to repeat the process. Your SRV will be positioned a short distance away from the site. I usually just head toward my ship marker to get my bearings and repeat the entire process. And that about wraps up this tutorial. I hope you found it at least a little bit helpful, perhaps a bit entertaining. A few things to keep in mind. These Guardian structure sites are located a good distance from the bubble and will require a fair number of jumps to reach. While filming this series of tutorials, I found that the overwhelming majority of fleet carriers in the system only allowed squadron and friend donking. This means that if you intend to farm these sites for a while, you will need to have SRB ammo synthesis materials available. There is a good chance that your point defense on your ship will also run out of ammo, leaving you vulnerable to sentinel missiles. The options are to find a carrier nearby that allows docking and has rearm repair services enabled, or the ability to synthesize the reload yourself. Or join our Discord using the link in the description, and one of our fully outfitted fleet carriers can transport you on one of our routine field trips, visiting the Guardian sites and the engineering material sites. Thanks for watching, and hope to see you out in the black. Oh, seven commanders.